political parties have concluded their special conventions and primaries and they now have flag bearers representing the parties at the polls uh, scheduled for next year. One strategy many politicians who weren't able to get their desired candidacy have employed is that of double nomination and the Independence National Electoral Commission isn't taking this lightly. Section 115 subsection D of the 2022 Electoral Act stipulates that no person shall sign or obtain more than one form as a candidate for different elections. According to the Act, anyone who contests for more than uh, one elective office is liable upon conviction to a maximum of two years in prison. But it appears many aren't yet at home with this section of the Act and the zeal to win at all costs uh, remains the focus. Joining us now in our Lagos studio to discuss these issues surrounding double nominations and the primary elections and other uh, topical issues is the Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Professor Paul Ananaba. Welcome to TVC Breakfast. Thank Once you. Again. Professor. Thank you. Good morning, Nigeria. What is going on? You know, you people always say, <clears throat> you lawyers, you say um, ignorance before the law is uh, not, an not an excuse. Now you have governors and you have uh, people who have run for one position and I say, okay, since I lost there, I'm not going to run for this. We have many of them. Actually, not so many, but significant. Now you have Ayade of Cross River. You have Akbabu, you have Senator Lawan, you have uh, uh, Bauchi Governor, Bala Mohammed. There's one other person. Uh, you have uh, Sokoto State Governor, uh, Amin Tambua. What is going on? Well, what is going on is politics. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <clears throat> there is regulation for politics, and that's why we're here to discuss. Mm. Um, you know, the unlearning process is difficult. Something you have always known. <clears throat> you are prone to go to that default <clears throat> practice. Unknown to many Nigerians, like mm. you said, is ignorance. It shouldn't be ignorance mm. because even if it is ignorant, the law will not excuse, excuse it. you. Yeah. Uh, even though that is primarily in criminal law. It's, it was codified in Section 22 of our criminal code, although we try to apply it everywhere. Hmm. It's actually a criminal law, a criminal code prohibition. Um, the point is that many politicians did, have not taken time to study, not just read, but study the Electoral Act 2022. Law is dynamic. And if you look at an, a stat, uh, statutory interpretation of law, you find out that it starts with literary interpretation. What does this literally mean? Sometimes what it literally means causes confusion. So you That's can, a literal translation. Exactly. These are the conservatives who yeah. want to say that the textual <laughs> analysis is so, what it says. So, so, so you see, it moves to golden rule. Mm. How can we be a bit fair, without not just looking at the literal interpretation. So That's interesting. You're looking at the spirit I'm of at the law. Interpretations. Yeah. So it doesn't work. If it doesn't work in the golden rule, you start looking at the mischief rule. What was actually <laughs> what, what was intended? What was intended? What is the mischief? So the electoral act. There's a mischief that was going on prior to the electoral act. Mm. Which that, the law which the law wants to, to stop to correct mm. and both lawyers and judges and politicians if we understand it we won't have all the confusion the electoral act doesn't want somebody to be here and there to be double dipping double dipping at the same time if we understand that uh, standpoint we can navigate our way and that is if you want to run for Senate, run for Senate. There are more than, you know, in Nigeria, we only have about. We don't have facts. Mm. Uh, <laughs> about there this, are about or two, more than this. About two hundred, or less than this. <laughs> about 200 million Nigerians. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. And at least 1% of that yeah. will want to run for office. Yes. Don't block off everywhere. 
decide where you want to go, go and so but people had reverted to the default position that you can hold your governorship and and, and run for Senate, Senate or try go for president. president and come back, the seat is still there for you. That's where the problem came from. But even if this problem even ex exists, the law is clear. Uh, one of the novel provisions of um, the amended Electoral Act is what, what, what we read uh, earlier, 115 it subsection from 114 D. Down. Absolutely. So, so this particular provision is now stipulating that no one shall sign or obtain more than one form as a candidate for different elections. And then yesterday, uh, Festus Sokoye of um, uh, INEC is saying no politician has run foul of this section because the law, according to him, is clear that as a candidate, the people who, 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 who signed these nomination forms were aspirants and not candidates. Is that how you see it? I'm not going to join issues with Festus, my friend. He's also a colleague. Right. Um, and I don't think that part of the duties of INEC is judicial interpretation. You still? It's, it's judicial, judicial interpretation. interpretation. Yeah, it's not their duty. Section 6 of the Constitution is the public officer should also be guided by law. You cannot make judicial pronouncements because it is prejudicial to rights of Nigerians. We should have allowed the courts to decide whether anybody has run foul or not. That is section six. Yeah, they are, they are, I mean that INEC is now jumping the gun, trying to say, don't do this, don't do this. Don't uh, they, but but, they, but they, are, they, are the, they are the ones supposed to execute it. They are you are supposed to tell people, I, I these am, are the rules. I am these are not the rules. I am happy that you said they are to execute. Yes. That's what INEC is. INEC can make a decision on its own mm. based on facts that come before him, before INEC. Mm. INEC cannot say no politician has run foul. What does the court then have to do? You have taken the duties of the court. But that's I, why, that's why I, I NEC, I NEC has lawyers. Uh, but for you to execute, you must have an opinion of no. what you must have an opinion of what your job is. And if you have an is, opinion of what your job is, you have to inform people is there, that this is what is, my job is. Is there no difference between an opinion and a, and a, and a, a pronouncement? Uh, you can pronounce an opinion. No, <laughs> an opinion <laughs> is definite, is subjective. It's subjective. If, if you, you will be saying, in my opinion, yeah. in my view, as against mm. that, but a pronouncement. The, no politician has. That's my thinking. No politician has run foul. Has run the, foul, yeah. Because, because, yeah. It means because that you are saying that because it no is, politician that, has, that is on my, that has applied to me in my own judgment has run foul. That's why I've said, okay, you can go ahead. But, but you know, so, so, so but, there's a thin no, line there. No, I get but, what you're no, saying, but, but there's a thin line. But, but, but you will see that judge rulings and judgments of course in the last few days mm. it flies in the face of those judgments mm. and it shouldn't be done on the petition let me put this into into but some more cannot, into sorry some more sorry sorry context. but you cannot rob INEC of his own view of his own job that's what i'm saying no, for I, instance, I, if you I, ask me i don't have problem yeah, with his view yeah what i have problem with is pronouncement when you say <laughs> nobody has it becomes like a pronouncement I would say that INEC should um, be a bit circumspect in court pronouncements they make. You can, you can give INEC's perspective. I have no problem with that. That is opinion. But let us allow the courts to make pronouncements. And even with this pronouncement, it doesn't preclude any aggrieved uh, candidates now from going to the courts, as we have seen. And we'll get to that, you uh, when, know, when you, when we, you we will even court, get to that when you eventually. Get to court, are you not going to say that this is the position of INEC? This but then the it's left to the judge, INEC. it's left to the judge to now weigh all the arguments. Because INEC has, has, has to take an action. Absolutely. But, but let me, like I said, let me, let me <laughs> well, put well, some more in context. In most of these suits, the right. INEC will be a party. They are yes, all, they are they're usually, parties, they are usually yes, parties. Okay. So but, that's why they have positions. <laughs> so let's get Did some more think? context now to what uh, Mr. Professor Sokoye was saying. He said this nomination forms as at the time when the politician, you know, um, signed 
multiple, for instance, but, but yeah. uh, they were still aspirants. But at the point of when the party conducts the primary exercise and then winners emerge, the singular winner is the candidate. So in the context of that reasoning, they cannot be found, they cannot take any action against the aspirant who took or signed multiple nomination forms. Does that change your own argument? It doesn't change my argument. It doesn't. It worsens the situation. Um, you, when you do judicial, when you do interpretation, that's why I said we shouldn't be dragging ourselves into judicial pronouncements. You can now see the problem. Let the courts decide that aspect. You, you, you are lifting candidates. As the, uh, in that, the word candidate, we are now going to interpret who is, what does candidate mean in, mean in the context. Mm -hmm. You have to do a communal and community purposive interpretation, looking at the electoral card as a whole. Where does that argument place closure of nomination? You, because section... <clears throat> one one five three says that an attempt bears the same punishment with the actual act. So how do you place it? As at the time he you are saying in this time there were oh, there, there were aspirants, you are creating a safety valve. As at the time you are saying that, you have forgotten that. The process has been completed. Completed, yeah. There have been no new nominations. Mm. Those who, that is, they have signed. They are signed already. Yes. And <laughs> the, the, the attempt is completed. Yes. The attempt in law is completed. And you are creating a safety valve. If you look at pronouncements in, the, uh, 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 in, in some of these cases where the prior court has said no. Um, you cannot do two nomination, you, 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 because it, will run, it runs foul of the law. How does that, how does, how, is it an appeal by, a, an appellate decision by, a, is either going to stand as an appellate, appellate court, court over that, is it not prejudicial to that judgment? Mm -hmm. Is it not flagrant? Um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 so, 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 you are saying that INEC should be wary. Exactly. Not to appear as if it has a cause. Exactly. And then become it's in the case case of a case to justify to be a judge in yeah. your own it cause. Should, it should yes. remain independent and to say, well, um, we have a situation, we have a situation like this, right? Uh, whoever wants to know the final position should go and get a pronouncement, should approach the courts. That but, is the constitution. Well, my own point is this if, for instance, you look at a case, they say Bala Mohammed, yes, he signed the form to become. President. Yes. He has signed the form to be governor. Yes. INEC has seen the two Electoral forms. Act. Yes. And seen the two forms. Yes. What does the law say INEC should do in that circumstance? What INEC should do mm. is to remain independent. Look at tell Nigerians we saw two forms. INEC has no business to go either way. So what does he do? It, it, it keeps records. And then, he no, no, do, does, he as, does he accept, does he know that Bala Mohammed the could, Lord, not do the, the, could not go ahead, the Lord, the could not win the PDP, did. could yes. not win the PDP and now has to run for Something governor? To on. Will, will it not be legal if for, he wins the election for INEC to say, here is your certificate of return? No, because the law itself, no, no, the law itself is clear. It no. is clear from the law that the, this is illegal. Yeah, but that, that the, INEC who, itself who, will be complicit in an that, illegal. That act. pronouncement of illegality, which is where I started, mm. must be done by the court. There are tribunals. What if nobody goes and to court? Courts. And so, INEC, INEC has no business going to court over such matters. So and if, if nobody no goes, goes to court, court he's, he's, somebody um, breaks the law. He's victorious. There are, there are institutions <laughs> created by the Constitution yes. to uh, discharge that function. Yeah. Those in institutions are not called independent institutions. Mm. ANEC is an umpire. Mm. Now, what does it mean that uh, an umpire 
Yes. An umpire now picks the ball and goes to kick it for one party because there's a penalty. Won't you allow the, the, the team to choose a, a, a player that will play? No, but, kick but, the ball? but if the umpire is there and somebody kicks the ball, we're not supposed to kick it. The umpire is a penalty. And it's a goal. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that's why it comes because no, there are rules. No, I agree with you. That's yes. what I'm saying. Yes. I neck will say, Nigerians, there are two forms. And if Nigerians say nothing, if 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 a team refuses to produce, that means the law the law is the law the law is you are saying that there is a lacuna in the law. There is no oh. lacuna because it doesn't oh. tell no. it doesn't no. tell no. INEC no. what to do. No, no, no. Or INEC does has the law no even empower you no know, uh, ordinary Nigerians? Will, will, won't the court see me as a meddlesome interloper if no, I go on to no, the law, um, champion? If you look at the electoral, uh, the electoral court says any uh, any as uh, any person who was an aspirant or a candidate in the election can question in court or tribunal. Okay, let's let, let give you a scenario. So, and, and, and just before you come, you come mm. with that scenario, mm. there's also a section 214 mm. of the Constitution that, pro, pro, that provides for a police force. There's also the Office of the Attorney General. Mm -hmm. The problem is that these offices should be allowed to go to work. They initiate... Mm -hmm. Criminal proceedings for those who have done that. What is what if there's a paralysis of institutions? That, let me is, give that, you an that example. is a conjecture. That, no, no, but let me give you an example, which is very possible in the Nigerian system. It's possible, but it's still a I'm conjecture. I'm a governor. I ran for president. I couldn't get there. Now, I want to get back to my position. Yes. Citizen A, who wants to run, who, 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 who wants it? Wants to go to court and I say, take 200 million. Go and keep quiet. Citizen B wants to challenge me again, 200 million, and go and keep quiet. Okay, and I want to say, take 1 billion, and go and keep quiet. And then I sail through. I have anointed an illegality. It means that the law does not. So what does INEC do? INEC becomes important, even when it knows that there's INEC no law. is not important. INEC is an independent umpire. Independence doesn't mean... No, no, the law doesn't allow... Paralyzed. No. So, so in essence, are you saying that INEC cannot institute actions? INEC can seek judicial interpretation. On its own, without any no, prodding? Yeah, it can, it, can, it can say, please, court, interpret this for us. Before we issue... Um, no, okay. Okay. no, INEC okay. doesn't okay. have that. Okay. Just the interpretation of law on the law mm. itself. I next, not interpretation to favor one candidate right. or the other, or to make prejudicial comments or take. You remember in our electoral experience, there was a time I was disqualifying candidates. Yes. But they can, in the electoral empire, but he cannot today. It's not his business to disqualify anybody. His business is to say, this is, in some provisions of the electoral act, the, the, um, the act says such person should not be a that INEC should not list the person. So that is where his power will also stop there. If the person is aggrieved, he goes to court. If the court says, put his name, you put his name. It's not for or her name. It's not for INEC to make pronouncements okay. to say nobody has done this. Okay. So, so okay. Let, let me give you a scenario. If somebody takes any of them to court and does not ask for the two years uh, jail, term. jail term. It just says disqualify him. The person will not go to jail. The essence of law. The essence, of, the essence <laughs> of law is not to jail people alone. Mm -hmm. There are there are different remedies you can ask for. But I'm also saying that there are institutions statutorily provided for to prosecute criminal offense. This is a criminal offense. Mm -hmm. A criminal offense, yes. This is the state. Mm -hmm. So it that is, is the where state. the role of the AG, the AG state, AG federation. The attorney federation. general is there. Mm. The, the commissioner of police is there. I appoint him the attorney there. general. I appoint him attorney general, and the attorney general wants to take me to is, court. Is the, is the I fire actor, him. I put another attorney general. Appointee. All right. Okay. Okay. So, so that said, <laughs> you've brought us to another interesting point now of the role of the police. Yes. The police has also said INEC hasn't issued them any name. INEC has initially laid the backdrop that they cannot, they don't have the powers to arrest police, for electoral offenses. I don't offenses. think the police will say so. 
Because Muiwa the Jobi is quoted. Well, well, I know. The I'm, first I'm, PRO is I'm quoted not, as I'm saying that. I'm not holding brief right. for them. If they say so. Say they are waiting on INEC to produce police, the names for them to arrest. And the, uh, the, the criminal justice system investigates. They can't wait for Paul INEC to mm. submit to names do it, to investigation. You, you, you know, Prof. If, yeah. there, if there are, uh, when some of these pronouncements have even been made by courts recently, what point I'm making is this everybody should do his own bit of the work. Investigation is not part of so much part of the work of INEC. The INEC keeps records, has statistics. The good, the Stat bad, yes, the mean, ugly. This, mm -hmm. the, the, Im immediately there are allegations or, 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 there is, or there are petitions that, oh, this person has taken two forms. The security agencies, the investigative uh, investigation goes in. If he finds that that, that that is the fact, prosecution takes place. There's Ministry of Justice. <laughs> that is why in, in many advance, we need to grow to that point. No, no, you no, see no. states. I give you a state like Israel. Yes. The, many times the president is prosecuted yes. while in office. In 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 South Africa. Yes. Even in um, even in the in even in other countries like the US. Yeah. That is the office of the Attorney General. That's what we are saying. The office of the Attorney General should be separated from Commissioner and Minister of right. Justice because mm -hmm. of the political. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. So that it is the duty of the. Uh, uh, attorney General at that point to take up district attorneys in the, in the U.S. and other and other mm -hmm. to take up investigation. A and special prosecutors. And, uh, special prosecutors are appointed. Yeah. Or yes. even allow um, you yeah. know laymen yeah. Yeah, well, fiat, I, I to the to prosecute. You know that as a law professor, you know there are two uh, aspects of uh, uh, interpretation of laws. You have the originalists. Yes. And you have the populists yes. or the Populist. intentionalists. Okay. It seems that you are acting like an originalist. I want to leave it As at against, that. Uh, and the and the I like people the have probably been advised by their lawyers to be intentional in this well, case. Well, so well, so well, you are probably talking from one, well, one point of I, view I, the, the of law, the law. The law, law, you know, the law speaks one voice, both in war mm -hmm. and in normalcy. The, the law? The law speaks one, one voice. voice. Yeah. The law doesn't confuse people. But what is that voice? That's the question. That voice. Is it, is it, is that, it like, is that, it like uh, Jacob and Esau? That voice of the law is the law. What is the, that voice? That voice is justice. It doesn't speak. Who's, who's Depending on it doesn't who, speak. Right. Oh, and this is another minutes. time. <laughs> uh, let us talk. Did you know, did you see that even during the military era? Yes. That a judge on this side, Gregor State, mm. a lady, yes. declared a government illegal. Yes. The law speaks the same voice. But there are some other judges who will but not say the, that. Yes. So, so whose voice is it? So those ones... Whose voice is those that ones, of the law? Those ones <laughs> belong to a class. Uh, uh, former Chief Justice of this country, yes. Justice Bello, said of judges without justice. Mm. A judge must have justice at any time. Without fear of ever without minding what people will go, go to say. He speaks justice. The task no, the, as a law professor, you know that people have different views of justice. They are different justice. justice. They have the justice of the bandit and the justice of the of the, the, of justice, the Christian and the justice, the justice of, of the Aaron. One voice. Which makes the task of the judge, you know, in the law court, you know, very, very onerous. And especially exactly. uh, especially at these times now. We, we, ad we advocate and provide for independence of the judiciary so that the judge is not unduly influenced. influenced. And, um, because that work of weighing on the scale, all the interests, the scale, right. and coming to what is just mm. should not be hampered, should not be uh, uh, restricted, should not be threatened. Which, um, of course, that is going to be a discussion for another day. The issue of the judiciary, but we can also talk about their welfare, making them happy, as happy as they can, so that they won't have to be looking up to the governor or any of the executives. But I, I think my own focus will remain on INEC. INEC itself has even alluded to the fact that about 320-something cases have already been instituted now at the Federal High Court under the line of the new uh, Electoral Act. And of course, we haven't even gotten to the active 
electioneering season and of course you know the post-election uh, matters which we will no doubt see it even says it's ready for all that are these necessary 300 and counting uh, cases recall and, and I, I know you are mindful of the role INEC plays under the law in monitoring primaries we've spoken about uh, multiple nominations but what about multiple primaries uh, for one office that we've also seen why would INEC even allow itself to be uh, disturbed in yeah, yeah. This area. The, the point, the point is, um, is when you when we were driving the old when vehicles of gears, not these automatic gears you have today. When you change the gear of a vehicle, does it does it show any sign? Yes, make a crack. Uh -huh. and you have to push. You, uh -huh. you 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 push the clutch, uh -huh. and then you and move you it. Do. Yes. So <laughs> when you change. Amend the Electoral Act. Yes, you are bound to know that that be some, uh, it will be tested under fire yeah. to get the real intentions of the Electoral Act. Mm. I have no problem. Part of the part of preparation for election is that <clears throat> INEC should investigate. There may be litigations. <clears throat> have enough legal representation. Ensure that there is consistency in their defense of their position, and that's why I said. They should not also begin to make pronouncements that will fuel more litigations. If they remain the way the law had made them, they will most of the time be nominal parties. Just to say, uh, uh, okay, in case of mis against A, these are the records. Except if INEC wants to argue that they attended all the primaries as against the only one that they should have attended. Yes, yes, is. In this one, there was no primary or, the, or, the, or delegate oh, INEC wasn't or Congress. There. Right. They say we were there. This is the person that was there. This is our report. All right. That's the I kind of to, thing. I want you to really yeah. interpret. We've run out of time. We'll have to bring. Line. We'll have to bring Prof another yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Just, to, just, to, to just to conclude. Yes, Do yeah. you think that all of them will go to jail? Because the law seems clear that they've committed a criminal act in public. Nobody right. goes to jail without prosecution. But if yeah. they prosecute, there them, is presumption of, of innocence. innocence right okay i'm only giving a position that so they could escape <laughs> not about escape the law will look at each case as it comes and it's married but remember that is if they come yeah that if they come i remember that the law must be given a holistic look to know that to help it that mm. um time for uh, nomination nomination has closed mm -hmm. And that even attempt is punishable. All right, Prof. Uh, po, uh, po mm -hmm. and Nanaba, we thank you very much thank for you. speaking yeah. with us on TVC Breakfast. We will definitely need to bring you uh, some other time. Of course, you know why, and uh, we know uh, why. Thank you again, uh, Professor Nanaba. Thank there. you.